paid off for slick talk. And only some men catch on to that shit. I have a question. Uh, do, uh, he could have taken a plea, right? And he would have gotten a lot less time if he would have taken a I plea. Why don't, I, don't, I don't know if they offered him a plea. I'm not sure. I mean... Because the evidence was overwhelming. Bloggers were saying one thing, but the court... like, If you listen to bloggers, hip-hop bloggers, they're all his friends. They like him. So they were presenting, they were trying to win the court in the public court of opinion. They were trying to win it, but the evidence that was done in court was overwhelming. There were three yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's, on the scene. Yeah, it's pretty obvious he's got the gun and he shot her in the foot, right? I mean, you know. Yeah, it, it it, like... the evidence is overwhelming against him in the court. But if you listen to a, blog, a rap blogger, they're not giving the people the real evidence in the court. They're giving their opinion. And um, the yeah, and they're biased. Yeah, and they're very biased. What they're saying in court, the evidence was overwhelming. But here's my thing: you keep telling the judge, man, you know, what I'm saying I need you to treat me like a human being. Like, dog, what you mean, dog? I'm I, like, like, what you saying? I'm not treating you like a human being. Like, I mean, you you impugning the judge's character, man. The you, judge you came out you, and bro. gave his sentence. He used those. Have you ever thought about what it looks like from the judge's seat where these hardened criminals come in? They're hard. They're like, you know, they shot at people up. They shot their friend, whatever. And suddenly, after they get convicted and it's time for sentencing, they all turn into, like, I'm a nice guy. They're, they're code switching. You know, it's like, it's yeah. unbelievable. It, it, and, and you're a judge and you're a professional. I think most of those judges are professional. I, don't, I think they just go by the guidelines. So you got guidelines. In this case, the judge had guidelines. There was only a certain range where he could get could could give this guy. There was a there was he was he was bound by the guidelines. So the judge um, could have gave him the low end of the by guidelines, but the judge gave him the high end of the guidelines. Told the judge how he felt about his past. He actually gave some sort of apology, not directly to Meg, but he did apologize to the court. Um, he thanked if every. He didn't apologize directly to Meg. He he didn't have. He didn't swear the judge. The judge is. Do it though. He did say. Come on now. Okay, go ahead. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Um, tell us now, Day. Put yourself in this position, right? Mm -hmm. would you have. Would you have sat through the whole trial and not defended yourself? Uh, I mean that's a tricky situation because you don't you day, don't know day, like day day day. day, day. It's not tricky, man. That's, that's, if you were in his exact situation and the trial's going on, would you have told your lawyer, I want to take the stand and I want to tell you what happened that night from my standpoint since I'm the one on trial for 20 years? Would you have done that? Well, I would have told I would have told him what happened to begin with when I was initially arrested. But I'm okay, saying so you would have told them and you would have told them exactly what happened yeah because i don't want to i'm not trying to spend that that decade in prison but what i'm saying is that i believe what y'all saying no, i believe no, so, so hold on today let me just stop you because I, 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 I don't want to go down too far okay if you don't have to so since he didn't do that do you understand how even if he's not guilty he got his time I understand. I understand that, and it make it makes sense. I just think that uh, I think he should have like. Uh, I think that when it comes to the uh, just due to the fact of the evidence and everything, I think he shouldn't have necessarily been convicted. I think I believe that he did shoot the gun, but I don't think that it. I don't think the way that they're talking about it. I think it was a uh, done, and I think it was done by an accident. She made it seem like she he did it on purpose and he did it intentionally, and I think for that. For that right there, I don't think he should have been convicted because we're not talking about if he did it or didn't do it. That's beside the point. But did oh, he actually? Time, 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 stop, stop, stop. Whether he did it or didn't do it is beside the point. If they don't have no proof, what I'm trying to say, I'm talking about the evidence. You don't get. They did, but they proof. had overwhelming evidence. They had the they had the victim saying that Negro shot me. They had the gun they had him on the scene 
which is very important. He would they put him on the scene. They had yeah. the motive. He she was making fun of his height. They have a witness who was viewed it from a distance saying they saw him leaning out the window shooting at her. They said they had his um his DNA that it was something that something that is fuzzy about his DNA on the gun, but that doesn't matter because dude's been getting locked up for for, for um for, for murders even before they had DNA. Well, they so, said they said initially when she when the thing first happened, they said that she was grazed, and I've been grazed by a bullet myself a couple of years ago. So based on that, that would mean that it was not done intentionally. If she was great, if he meant to shoot her. She would have been shot for real. She would have like had. So you're, you're, so you're saying that because someone got grazed with a bullet, that means that the shooter didn't mean to shoot him. Based on my logic, yeah, I don't. I think he. Nah, that's he, bullshit. That's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. I know plenty of that, motherfuckers that got shot at, and they got grazed. They got shot yeah. at, like motherfuckers were shooting at the motherfuckers. And they got grazed. Did yeah, I got grazed in my shoulder. I got grazed in my shoulder before and everything, and it was just like a warm, like a warm, like little, like pinch of stuff. I didn't, I didn't experience what she's talking about, so that's why I don't really. I feel like what she's talking about is like, I feel like she's making it seem as if you know, like, like he had like a vitriol, and like it was like a, like he was like literally trying to kill her, and then she added the whole dance, bitch, dance. Like, come on now. Like, does that really sound realistic? What do you mean realistic? Like, like, it sounds like she pulled that out of a movie or something. Like, my personal opinion. Well, well, here's the thing. Everything that happened in real life happened in a movie. Like, him shooting her. He, he, that, that happened in a the movie. Them driving in the car. That happened in a movie. Um, every line that we said on this on this um live stream has been said before in the movie i mean like that's that's not how you said you let's get back to your logic that the fact that she was if she wasn't gray she was shot on like on her on her heel but let's just say the logic let's just say the fact that she was grazed proves that he didn't mean to shoot her okay. i don't believe yeah because i don't believe he did it like I don't believe that it was done intentionally. I believe that it was like a he like picked up the gun and then it went off. That's what I think. But I don't think he said the reason why I don't think he admitted that is because he's a felon and he ain't supposed to have a gun to begin with. So therefore, he didn't oh, want to admit so he's it. He's a felon. He's a felon, and he wasn't supposed to have a gun to begin with. Um. So so here's my thing. What whatever gun charge he was going to get was was going was going to carry probation or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Why did it? You got a kid, right, Dave? No, I ain't got no kids. Okay, but you, you, you like being free, so I still can't understand like why he wouldn't tell us if the girl shot if the other girl shot him. Why not just say that? Because think about it, the code of the streets is gone. This era is no code of the streets. Ghana, Takashi, everybody snitching. They got fucking videos of fucking on them Chicago dudes snitching in jail now on on um on, on running around the internet. Everybody snitching. Why not? Why why take possibly twenty years to protect some chick? I mean. I, I get what you're saying. I, I definitely agree with that. And I, I don't think that I would have done the same thing that he did. But when it comes to the time that he received, I do feel that that is uh, an over amount that they did. I think that they went very, very hard. Uh, I think if they were going to just go by the evidence that they feel that they have, then uh, three to five years would have been you know, sufficient. But 10 years is that's extreme, in my opinion. But the guidelines within the guidelines, the judge, the judge sentenced them within the guidelines. Now here's my thing. You're talking about how you feel and what you think about things. Um, and what you, none of you do know that none of the ways you just explained it is how court really works, right? 
I mean, yeah, I, I have been to court before, though, so I understand some. Have you been on trial? No, nah, I've been to family members' trials for stuff like this. Right. You know that. It no, I've been on trial. Do what you feel, right? Yeah. I have I have a cousin in jail for 150 years, so I understand. <laughs> so so why are you coming up here telling us about what, what you feel? Well, he actually, but he actually did it, though, so that's not the same thing. I don't think... I, and he did it with intention. He, he was intending to do what he did. I don't believe that what Tory Lanez did, like, I don't think that he was, like, he wasn't intending to, I don't believe he was intending to, I think he picked up the gun and then it went off. So what for that. Think, what makes you think that you, what, what, like, why are you, why are you saying these things about Tory when you don't know Tory? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Yeah, you. I think you've been brainwashed by the bloggers, man. Um, you don't even know what you're saying. You sound really crazy up here, man. Hey, yeah, the fact that, that not, let me say something quick. Mm -hmm. The fact that his lawyer was fighting for probation showed that he did that shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He should have been fighting. He ain't gonna be deported. Look at this, though. He ain't gonna be able to make no money because he's gonna be stuck in Canada. Yeah, but he, he, he what, what you know, whatever. I mean, but he's in prison. He he's doing he's gonna be doing time, man. This dude's an inmate, man. He's gonna be doing time. It's gonna be another guy that's gonna come up and take his spot, man. It's just it's just the way it goes, man. He he he's doing time. He's in the joint, man. Um, but he's not gonna be able to come back after this, though, right? I, I think his I think his his is it's is hard for Robbins to come back because you your 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 wave. You know what I'm saying, like. Your wave is gone. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's, it's gonna be music. Don't even sound the same way it did. You know what I'm saying? Ten years ago. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so imagine eight years from now, the music's gonna be way different. Yeah. I mean, he, and plus, you know, I mean, like, there's so much, there's so much competition out there. You had a spot. You he had a beautiful spot in the game, man. He had a hell of a spot in the game. He was doing this thing. He fucked up, and now it's over, for now. And um, you know, he's going to do his time, and we're going to forget about him. In, in two years, nobody will be talking about him. We won't forget about him, and um, that's how it works. Um, 